Hi, folks. My name is David Adamson. I am an AI scientist at Turnitin. I'm also a former high school teacher. So I'm here today wearing both hats to talk to you about Turnitin's current efforts at AI writing detection. So ChatGPT and its cousins are here. It's going to be transformative. Perhaps it will be the graphing calculator of the language arts. You're going to want to be able to say, hey, student, this is the appropriate time to use this kind of supporting tool. This definitely isn't. And in order to do that, you'll want to have confidence about when they're using it and when they're not. So our detector, Tune for Academic Writing, uh, is in the works. We hope to share it with you in some product form soon. Here's a peek. So again, I am not the user experience designer for the final product. I'm just the man behind the curtain. It's just a quick demo. Here's an example about etymology of the word thing. In fact, it did indeed all come from ChatGPT. And we can say, hey, 24 of these sentences out of all 24 came from ChatGPT. But here's a more interesting example. Here is a story written in the style of Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes stories that I've made some edits to. Parts of it I liked, parts of it I felt were a bit simplistic, so I went in and I added some, some more text, a little more narrative to the middle. Uh, I left a bit of the end alone as well. Can our detector tell us which parts were AI written and which parts were David written? Well, I sure hope so, because that's the point of this demo. Oh, good. Yeah, about half this essay, half this story was AI written. Uh, the beginning was left alone. Here's the part I changed. We're not quite sure, so we won't say much about the parts where it might be transitioning between human writing and AI writing. It's a fuzzy boundary. You don't want to do any harm by saying the wrong thing. And we transition back out of the AI writing into some more human writing and end with a few sentences from the machine. So that's what we hope to be able to share with you in some form, not just uh, a single magic number, but a bit of context when we're all done. So you can have these conversations with your colleagues and with your students. Thanks, everybody.